What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Deep Sky Derelicts. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. Uh, we covered this bad boy before the release um, for Early Access a while back now. I really enjoyed it. I thought the game has a lot of promise. It reminds me a lot of like a Darkest Dungeon with something like a Slay the Spire, which is something we played recently. It's got like that whole Darkest Dungeon type of look to it, but at the same time, it's got like more of a Slay the Spire type of um, combat mechanic over here with the dungeon crawling and stuff like that. So I figure we see what's new because there's been a couple of updates since we last played. And even though the game is far from complete right now, I want to keep my eyes on the development and see when it is actually complete and see all the new additions as they come along over here. So I figure we do a little update video just to see what's up. Let me go into continue. We're not going to start from the very start because we've kind of have covered that already to begin with. But I'm jumping into a save that I started last night to kind of um, get ready for this video. I do have a new team this time around. Let me go to open PDA. I'm rocking a, a tech, a tracker, and a leader. Let's come over here to my ship and jump over to Absolution. Which is also apparently the name of the Raw Women's Group. I'm sorry, I'm a big wrestling nerd, so... Anyway, um, level number two, that's where we're going. Let's launch our mission over here and see if we could undertake at least three of these missions. We have the main quest, we have an extra tavern mission, and we also have to kill one more wormling. And get their remains and take them back to the tavern for some money as well. Thank you, pilot. Let's go over here to open PDA. There's a bunch of new enemies in the game now as well, a bunch of new mechanics added. So we'll see if we can kind of figure out what some of them are. And mission log, let's come over here really quickly. So I need one more wormling research item. And here we're looking for the location data, which is the main quest, and egging for signs. We're looking for people proficient in combat to help us secure a rare Maworm egg for research purposes. A Maworm was spotted by one of the biologists on board the Derelict Absolution. Contact the biologist near the landing zone on the Derelict Absolution for more details. So he should be nearby, whoever this might be. So let's start off by just jumping over here, here, and here. And let me do a scan right over here. Now, in case you're unfamiliar with this, I'm not sure what happens if you run out of energy when you're in the ship. I imagine death. I've never gone up to zero, so I normally get back to my ship and leave to get my energy back, or I also ingest a bunch of the energy cells to get my energy back, so I'm not sure if zero means death. But um, for now, let's just move down through here. Oh, we have a hostile right here. Is that telling me there's four possible enemies there? Well... Let me do the field scanner. Keep surrounding tiles scanned. Range 3. Scanners available. Deploy. Ooh. That's really good. So this item that I just used right now, I bought it at the shop back, you know, in the home hub area. It's a new item that was added to the game, and apparently that's very cool. It lets you know what's around right off the bat. I can use it more than once? I can. I just have to have the energy for it. That's pretty cool, I think. All right, so let's go over here to the unknown and see if there's going to be an enemy combat. These will be the hostile janitors, not what we're looking for. I did a quest earlier where I had to get the remains to um, bring them back for some goods. He's accompanied by two of the eyeball dudes, which are really annoying. Because I believe they confuse you. So hopefully it doesn't really happen right here. I have a negative effect on me. The headbutt disabled two cards for three turns. That's very, very annoying. So right now we have Masato, which is my really heavy damage dealer. The janitors, I know what to deal with. They have probably less HP overall because of the shield and the HP than the eyes. I think I'm going to go for the eyes because the confusion thing really worries me quite a bit. So let's start off by doing an aim shot 16 to 20, which is really, really good. They have a 20% evasion too, so hopefully... Oh... <laughs> of course. Heavy duty damage and they dodge it. Uh, technician. None of your hacking cards showed up. Hacking would have been really good because they're like robotic enemies, but I don't get any, so that's pretty bad. Let's just shield boost up my tracker and keep them nice and steady there. All right, so here's my leader now. Single strike, burst fire, and compliment. We can't use compliment just yet. Oh, you're the one who were disabled. Ooh, the compliment's really good to get smarts or cards for us. All right, so I guess we have to go with single strike here for now. Got that one. Good. And we have two janitor turns coming up. Backswing, rip, and slash. Okay. Two of those. Uh, doing a number of my shields, but that's fine. As long as they don't completely, like, gang up on one dude, we should be able to get those shields back up. Shield sap. Alright, so we're back to Masato now. Let's do a quick strike. Quick strike's really cool because 
it'll do the 10 damage, and if I have another melee card available, I'll be able to use it. And I believe single strike is also... Oh no, that's a ranged one, I think. Is that a ranged one? No, energy blade. That's a melee one. So perfect. We'll be able to do 20 damage, assuming these hit. Okay. That's my quick strike, and now we follow it up with single strike. Excellent. Nice, good job. So one eye is almost down, down to 3 HP. And you should be able to follow it up with the kill. Now the problem is, do I want to kill you now, or do I want to just recharge the shields up there? We do have the leader coming back up. He's got a burst fire, which technically should, assuming you don't miss, should be enough to get that kill. So you know what, I'm going to boost your shields instead. Let's go over to recharge shield up over here. And let's hope that my leader doesn't miss with that burst fire. Got him. Okay, so one of them down already. Perfect. In case you're wondering too, um, when you're fighting every round, you're using up energy as well. So the longer you're in a fight, the worse it is for you to actually explore in the map. Because you have to not only use energy when you're moving, but you're also using energy in your fights as well. So the faster you get him out of the way, the better. Another headbutt that's really annoying. Aim shot. 16 to 20. This would be the kill technically. Yes. Okay. Eyeballs down. And because of the Inspire, we have one more turn. Let's go up and do a... Let's do the Flurry of Strikes. Oh, very good! That's another kill! I'm telling you, once you start getting Masato, or your, your tracker apparently buffed up, they're so, so freaking strong. Disrupt! Oh, I was, I was hoping I was hacking. No. Alrighty. So let's go up to Double Shot. Yeah, we'll do a Double Shot over here. He's got one plus armor, so he does reduce some of the damage we're doing to him. Let's do another Inspire as well. This is the reason why the Technician's so good. Or the Leader. You get a lot of extra turns that way too. Vacuum Shot. Got a couple of Staggers on me. Masato's back. Let's do Quick Strike followed with um, Single Strike would be the end of this fight more than likely. Perfect. And now we follow it up with Single. Got him! Alright. So once you get the juices going, it's alright. Energy cells that are broken, that's really terrible. Generator part for selling, a scavenging tool, level 3, and scrap components. So we'll take everything here for now. I don't think that what we just picked up right now is going to be very useful to us. Craft supply and scrappy bomb. That is where we left a tracker. So we have two more enemy combatants coming up. Let's see if we can ignore some of those. They are moving after me. Oh, these guys actually came after me straight up. A bunch of lizards are surveying the room. They start to make an aggressive clicking sound as they spot you. Apparently they're the uh, Ugandan Knuckles now. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how to do it, okay? I don't really... F I've heard of the meme, I've kind of seen it in passing, but it's not a meme I'm too familiar with. Um, luckily, they have no shields, which is a good start. So a single shot would just about take care of this guy. And then whoever follows it up can get the kill right here. I don't necessarily want to spend too much time with this. Acid spit, I forget what that does. What does this do? Negative 15 damage resistance, which is no good. Luckily, we kept our HP up because we got my shields back up in time with the last fight. So that's good. Your shields will recharge after the fight anyway. Um, let's go ahead and get this, um, kill now. And Boxer. Nothing unfortunate. Let's just inspire the entire crew. And Masato's coming up again. Flurry of Strikes. We could go up to 15. Let's go for it. Oh, we got a crit in there too. Fire Bread. Yeah, these guys aren't really too bad. As long as they don't have, like, shields. The mechanical enemies are really annoying in the game. Double Shot. That should be the kill right here. The organics are a lot easier to deal with. Um, let's just start working on bringing you down already. Masato's next. What do you got for me? Quick fire, a quick strike at a 10. Unfortunately, no backup melee attack to finish that off. So, let's just dwindle you down this way. Of course, no follow-up attack, so end that turn. Weak punch. That's a weak punch, all right, baby. Hacking doesn't work on you. I guess I'll disrupt your range attack because you like to spit and spit fire at us and all sorts of jazz. This should be the kill right here. I got him. All right, cool. Energy cell, a 31. That's very, very good. And we have a level 2 shield core mod. This will be a mod that you put into your actual shield itself. Um, weapon and Ooh, weapon enhancer. Three of them. Ooh, that's a really good card to add into our inventory here. So, if we go to mods here... That'll be for the shields. Stacked up with those. There you go. Now, I do have a lot of extra cards now. At this point, you don't have too many cards because sometimes it'll like make it really hard to draw what you're looking for. But for now, I'll stick with this. I don't want to really spend too much time micromanaging my deck right now. So, open to the PDA. 
Another fight over there. I'll skip that one for now. Let's come down through here. Oh, the Wormling's cool. We could actually get that Wormling research quest done, too. Which would be some more cash for us. And these guys are really easy to bring down. Um, so one of them should die. No. Oh, we got Quick Strike? And we can follow it up with Flurry of Strikes. So this will kill almost two. Let's go after... Let's go after 12. And then we'll Flurry of Strikes this guy. So one down and the other one almost basically dead. Oh my god, I'm, I'm loving the tracker so much. I read about that in the Steam forums and I was like, oh, I'll give it a try and oh man, it's been so good. Uh, double shot. Yeah. Let's go with a single kill here. Boxer. Suppressive. Ooh. Yeah. Could be almost for the kill. Oh, very close on almost one of them. But not quite. Masato's next though. Single shot. 14. Bam. You down. And Geezer, single shot. You see, like, once we got away from the mechanical enemies, this isn't really too bad. It's just those freaking janitors that are so freaking annoying. Alright. So we now have the Wormling Research uh, mission completed. We have to go back and turn it in for the cash, which is fine. But we still got two missions over here available at the moment, so let's continue onwards for now. We have 52 energy as well. And let's go ahead over here and drop... One of my energies for now. I did use that? Yeah, up at E2. So let's come down here. I'm gonna do a scan pretty soon. That guy was supposed to be near the landing area. Maybe somewhere up here. If so, I'm gonna have to backtrack a little bit for it. But for now, let's just do a... a scan. We have a fight coming up over here. I'm gonna try to avoid that so I can show you more. He's chasing me down, though. Normally, the ones that chase you down are Wormlings or the... Oh, not you. Luckily, it's just two of you. And you're not accompanied by Janners, which... Should simplify things, I hope. Uh, Flurry of Strikes. Unfortunately, we will not be able to follow that up on anything else. Let me just reload you. And get some more cards that way. And we got... Oh, everything disabled on the geezer. So double shot. Up on you. Boxer coming up. We could compliment or we could just burst fire on this guy. Or we could weapon enhance too. I don't really have strong cards on my hand at the moment. So I'll just compliment... Masato. So we can do a ton of damage next time around. Headbutt. Alright, there we go. 16 of 20, or 5 times 3 in a single shot over here as well. No quick strike, unfortunately. So let's just go with aim shot and try to almost bring you down. Oh, you evaded, you scumbag! This is the reason why I hate those eyeballs so much. Recharge shield, that's the only thing we can use. Um, sure. Drop it over here. Boxer next. compliment. Let's suppress fire on these guys. Hopefully they miss next time around because they want to headbutt us a couple more times. Focus beam. That one missed. Perfect. Masato's back on cue. Single shot. Mark target. Alright, one of them's down finally. I was going to say, you better not dodge again, you scum. Recharge shield. Yeah, let's go for that one. Boxer's next. Single strike. Nice. Got a crit in there too. Focus beam. Seven. Alright. 15. Won't be enough for the kill, but almost... Oh, you evaded a couple of them. We got a crit. Down to five. Hacking. You're stunned for the next turn, baby, because you're a mechanical unit. <laughs> get me lucky, get me lucky. Oh, so close. You're stunned. Can't do anything. Get out of here. Quick strike. Done. All right. And we got ourselves some more junk components. Take everything over here. Excellent. Let's continue moving down. Trying to see if I could get the, the main storyline quest for us here. Scan. Oh. We have possible loot over here. Search this out. Got ourselves junk electronics. 10 energy. Destroyed weapon. Take everything. Okay. Nothing here. Another fight coming up that way. And they met me halfway. Oh, it's the... Uh, luckily, the helmetless janitor does not have the extra energy boost. Or defense boost anyway. So that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, go over here for that 14 down. And let's see, double shot. Yeah, sure, let's just get this guy out of the way if we can. You could also aim at the card. I always, I, I have like a force of habit where I always like aim at the actual enemy, but you could actually move the cursor over the cards. And that'll be a lot easier than trying to do what I'm doing. But at this point, it's like a force of habit. Uh, single strike, sure. 
Janitor, what you got? Self recharge. Oh no. Well, he doesn't have the extra boost of defense, but he can recharge himself now, which is fairly quite as annoying. Uh, quick strike. We can follow up another attack, so I should hold on to that. Let's just reload. Get some more cards for next time. There we go. Geezer, geezer, geezer. Let's hack. Let's hack Mr. Eyeball, dude. And this is weapon enhance you. Alrighty. Jenner, what you got this time? Another self repair. Oh boy. Well, that guy's stunned. This guy's over here just repairing away completely. Luckily, aim shot is coming up, but we do have. We could do 20 or 20. Let's go with quick strike, and we'll do the single strike afterwards. Oh, did I not do quick strike? Oh, I clicked on aimed? Oh, I clicked on aim. Oh, that's my bad. That's on me. Oh, well. We'll just save that for the eyeballs. It's not really the end of the world. Single strike. You're down to... This should technically kill you, assuming... They all hit, which they did. Ancient Eye no longer stunned. Masato, though, we have quick strike. As long as she doesn't miss. And single. Good. Nine. Geezer. Eh, don't really matter, just recharge that. And Boxer. Suppressing fire for the dodge. Just single strike him. Nice! Got the crit in there too. More scrap components. Okay. We're at 31. I'm not too worried about because I have a bunch of like healing items, so I'm... Or not healing items, but the energy items. Take all. I click take all with those even if it shows nothing because sometimes the game can bug out on you and even though you loot something and there's no items, they're items but you can't see them, they disappear sometimes, you have to log out of the game and come back in to actually see the loot. That happened to me last night so that's the reason I always click on take all just in case um, it bugs out on you. Let me use that extra energy cell and let's continue going down over here for now. Let's do a scan. Okay. Still haven't seen the quest, um, beacon. Datapad. There's an open journal entry from user Serafima. My friend died working in the mirror world. She had a special work permit as her micro -send. That's a lot to read. But you guys could pause and read that if you want to. I'm just trying to continue because I'm almost out of time with this video. But go ahead and pause and read if you want to. Take all. I'm not sure if that's for another quest sometime, somewhere down the line. If I had more time, I would check it out. I'll just read it off camera. Take all everything over here. All right. Oh. You know what? Um, can we retreat? I think we tried, but we failed. I want to retreat because I want to get us to that quest marker before we run out of time here. Everybody's failing in the retreats. <laughs> of course. Yo, come on, dog. We got out of there. Now they will chase you. So I'm going to run up this way. And do another scan through here. That's another hostile. Who's... Uh, he's after me, and unfortunately I got into a spot where there's no... Continuing from that side. So we have to deal with this bad boy right here. Um, we're at 33 energy. Let's drop one of these just in case this fight takes longer than I really wanted to. Side over here. Oh, it's just one Vulture Pirate. That's not too bad. They're kind of strong, but it's only one, so it's not really a big deal. Got a lot of shields on them. Um, let's start off with marking the target. Make you a bit more successful to pain. Geezer. Disrupt. I'm not sure if you're more of a melee dude or a range guy. So I'm gonna go with range just in case. And Boxer, let's hand do a, an Inspire on the entire crew here. Empire, what you got for me? You gotta buff yourself instead. I'm not happy about that. Um, luckily we have Quick Strike and Flurry Strikes coming up. But he did buff himself too, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. I'll take it. We got a crit in there too. 17 to 22. Alright. Oh wow, another one. Oh, because of the Inspire and the Quick Strike. What a combo right there. Um, let's see. I guess we'll just double shot on you. And Boxer, what do you got for me? Single Strike, Compliment, Self Recharge, Weapon Enhancer. Let's just try to take him out as soon as possible. Alright, he's out of shields now. Going for heavy strike, so he's more melee focus after the buffing, it seems. Oh, name shot? This could be the kill? Oh, baby! Good one. Level 2 weapon tool mod explosive node. Alright, we'll take that. 
Let's go up to the top side here. This quest marker is becoming quite an issue to find. I have some loot over there. Oh, that guy's going to chase me down for a fight. I'm going to skip that one for now. There's <laughs> chasing me. Oh, no. Not this fight. Oh. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I'm going to see if I can run out of this fight and see if I can find the the quest marker for our quest over here. If I do, we'll cut back into that and I'll show you that and we'll wrap it up. Otherwise, we'll just wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. This is um, Deep Sky Derelicts. Really fun game. It takes a while, though. Like, you know, getting through these dungeons does take a little bit of while. As I mentioned, I normally go back to the hub a couple of times before I complete something all the way. But that's a really terrible fight right here. Oh, boy. Um, all the information for Sky, uh, Deep Sky Derelicts will be down below. Fun game. It's still very early in development, though, so just keep that in mind that it's still a lot of um, progress for the game to be complete. But I wanted to show it off over here because I enjoyed it the first time. And, um, you know, if you're in games like this, I think you enjoy it as well. But um, if I come back, we find the quest marker. If not, this will be it. And we'll probably check this video, this game out another time. If you want to see some more, though, do let me know and I could do that as well. doesn't really matter. I'll catch you guys next time.